What's going on guys? Welcome back to Bear With Me. So we are still in the process of getting a key for this control panel. And we need to wake up Pete, I believe his name was. And I think we still need to talk to this dude. There is Looks like someone is violating the restraining order. <laughs> yeah. Um, because I feel like we got this magnet and s I feel like we should use his fishing rod and the magnet to maybe get uh, the key from somewhere. So let's go talk to him. Any luck with the pretend fishing? <laughs> You're so funny, Snoop. He's really not. Any luck? <laughs> He's really. I don't buy it. Can you, like, not stand there? You're scaring away the fish. I don't buy it. I think it's fake. Looks like someone is violating the restraining order. Mm hmm. Not sure how that would help. Can we give him an empty mug? Seems like a good idea, but something is missing. Yeah, so we definitely need them some coffee in that. He doesn't want the popcorn. We tried that. We can't give him oil. Um okay. Let's go into the diner and see. Maybe she, maybe Betty wants to read this pamphlet. Throwing this away is about the only useful oh. purpose. Okay. Nope. Hmm. Anything new she tell, wants to tell us? Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a... Um, darling, I already... It's not for her. Who's it for? And these still doesn't... don't work. Um, hmm. Oh, that's the map. Don't want to go there. We should get back to the harbor doll. I need to talk to see... You're right. Yep. We're at the harbor. Still don't have any change. Hmm. Not sure how that would have. Dirty table. And we did try this on Pete, didn't we? Not sure how that would. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We should get back to the harbor doll. You're right. Okay, so it won't let us go into the city. Trash can, we already looked at that. Car, we opened that. Dino sign, garbage dumpster. Hmm. Okay, let me think for a second. Let's see, why can't I talk to this guy? Any luck with the pretend fishing? <laughs> You're so funny, Snoop. He's really not. Looks like someone is violating the restraining order. Seems like a good idea, but. Hmm. 
Yeah, I'm definitely missing something. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's go back to the bridge because um, I'm thinking we might have missed something in here. Like I probably wasn't thorough enough. Let's look at the control panel again. All right, let's give it a shot. What's this button thingy? Whatever you do, don't touch that one. Okay, okay. What's this thingy here, Ted? Should be a digital signal switch panel. What's this display thingy here? Looks like a direct access terminal, but that won't help us much. What are these pointy thingies? Looks like the bridge level indicator display indicating that bridge is not lowered. Look at you, Mr. I know my stuff. <laughs> What's this round thingy, Ted? It looks like a plane turn coordinator, but that makes no sense. No, it does not. What's this switch thingy? Do I look like a bridge raising guy? Well, you do share a lot of the same habits. Uh. If that includes just drinking a lot, yeah, it does. What's this shiny thingy? Looks like a detailed user instruction plate. Don't recognize the language, though. I want to say Chinese. <coughs> Oops. Um. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's just keep this between us. I couldn't help it. Okay. Um oh, first aid box. A first aid box. See if you have some medical alcohol. You know, for medical purposes. Hmm. Oh, okay. That's pretty well hidden. At least on my screen. Okay. The coat really goes well with that briefcase. Never took you for a fashion expert, Ted. The suit and tie are no accident, Missy. Funny you should use that word, accident. There are a couple of coins in here. We'll just borrow them. Wow. Okay. Now we have some coins. So now, back to the jukebox, and hopefully Pete will wake up. Wow, that... Come on, Fortune. No. Did he just... <sighs> I can see Pete's keys in there. We need something to fish it out. Okay. Who's the cat that won't cop out when there's danger all about? Shaft. Right on. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we know we have to fish it out. He dropped keys down there. We have the magnet. Maybe we can borrow the fishing rod now. Any chance we can borrow your fishing rod? Yeah, it's not like you need it anyways. No, no, I need it! For the cover. No, I have a feeling they'll start fighting soon. All the women you're harassing? The fish! <laughs> I'm just here to fish, damn it! 
How about you two be useful for a change and go get me some coffee from the diner? I can barely keep my eyes open anymore. Why don't you go and get it? Um, I, I would, but I, um, I, I can't leave this here post for too long. Maybe we can keep an eye while you go get some coffee. Yeah, I mean, no one ever went to jail for getting the cup of coffee. You could be the first. You're just trying to get rid of me so you can steal my rod. No, we would never. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, if we get you some coffee, will you give us your fishing rod? I'll think about it. Okay. So now... Let's go see if we can get some coffee. Nope. I don't think so, pal. I'm not throwing money away. Nope. Okay. Let's talk to Betty then. Hi, Betty. Any chance we can bother you for a cup of coffee? Um, darling, I... It's not for her. Who's it for? It's for Clark. Quote, unquote, fisherman out there. My God, he's relentless. You can give him this. Tell him I've made it especially for him. Did you? You didn't poison the... Do I look like a murderer to you? I mean, not right now. Oh my god, I've spiked it with some <laughs> pepper, Ted. Okay. So, coffee pot? Coffee mark. Voila, it's complete. Okay. Let's talk to Clark then. Give him some coffee. And hopefully this will give us the fishing rod so we can get those damn keys. Any luck with the pretend fishing? <laughs> He's really not. Oh, let's try that again. Here you go, buddy. Betty said she made it especially for you. Hmm, smells lovely. Sure does. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh dear, Clark, are you okay? No, I'm not. I'm soaked and it's freezing. Throw me something and get me out, you two idiots! Huh. Flattery won't get you anywhere, Clark. I feel so bad about this. Throw him something. Hmm. I'm sure Sneezy won't mind. Not sure how that would help. Okay, can we use this to get him up then? Never did enjoy fishing. No, don't use it on Ted. Use it on... Can't we use this to get Clark back up? Green stuff. Hmm. The fishing rod on the sky. Yeah, I don't think so. Sod it. Okay. Apparently Clark is gonna stay there then. So fishing rod on the chef. Never did enjoy fishing. Not sure how that would help. Hmm. Like we can't, can't mark him. Uh, that's all the settings. I was going to see if I could maybe make the screen a little bit smaller because on my monitor at least it is uh, cutting the corners a little bit. 
I really hope we didn't scratch it. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Throw him something. Very Nimba Supreme. Is that a broom from Harry Potter? That's some fancy broom. <laughs> Still a broom though. Okay. Wow, that thing. Shall we wake up uh, Pete now? Is he still just completely out of it? He's really out cold. You say it as if it's a bad thing. Hmm. We should see if we can fish those keys out somehow. Yeah, I thought that was. Do we need to? Ah. There, we've got a fishing line. Now let's throw this entire fishing rod away. Ta-da! Behold the MCD 3000, the latest craze in fishing out metal things from hard to reach places. Okay. And a fish skeleton. Hmm. Not sure what that's gonna accomplish. Nope, not on set. Go away. Uh, move out of the way then. And Ted is gonna move as well. Thank you. So now. Nice, I got the keys. I'm so crafty. Okay. Um Does she want this? Funny, but ain't gonna work. Hmm. And he's out cold, and we can't use the oil on him. Okay, let's go see if we can lower the bridge. No clue what we're gonna do with a fish skeleton. All right, let's give it a shot. There, it's coming down. We did it, Ma. Cool. So now the bridge is down. Let's go to the container terminal then. I wonder what's inside all of these containers. You don't want to know. Oh, no seagulls. <laughs> wow, obsessed much? Go away. Yeah. Fences. Fences indeed. And shoot and. Wow. Okay. I wonder what. You don't want. Can move off to the side. Hmm. Can we use this? Funny. Nope. On the funny, but ain't gonna. Hmm. Industries? Hmm. Sounds familiar. Oh, doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> Jarvis. Sir, I'm afraid I don't recognize the logo. <laughs> uh. CBG really hates the birds, unlike Mr. Birdwatcher over here. All containers, mono seagull signs. We should get back to you're right. Th 
funny. I wonder what's in You don't want to know. Okay. Hmm. That would be fun, but no. Hmm. Hmm. Popcorns, maybe? Oh, yeah, okay. Always the last thing you try, right? This is just going to attract a lot of birds. Filthy beasts. Ah, that one. That one over there. He's the Michael. I mean, he's the ringleader, Ted. You know? You know what they're doing, don't you? Seagulls. Yeah. Generally, they fly around looking for fish and making annoying sounds, but... No, 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 no. Open your eyes. Surveillance, Ted. Surveillance? They're the flying cameras. They monitor the entire city from up there. The seagulls? No, Bear. <laughs> They're just the means. Huh. It's good to see you again, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you too, Ted. Is that the girl? She's grown. Hi, CBG. Long time no see. It's been too long, kid. Why the hell would you bring her here, Ted? It's not safe for her anymore. What do you mean? The city is not your playground anymore, girl. Not since that monster showed up. You're talking about Red? Shh. Keep your voices down. Especially with all them birds around. Okay. So we found CBG and he is definite definitely not okay. He's wearing a straight jacket, right? Okay. What do you know about Red? Here's what I know, Ted. He came down to Paper City a week ago, and now he's burning it down from the inside out. Where did he come from? He just appeared in the city one day, but the trail leads to the woods on Sorrow Hills, and I have a feeling he was invited. Invited? By whom? Think about it, Ted. The elections are coming up. There's a new candidate on the rise, the one that was dabbling in criminal activity since forever now. King. Hmm. The one and only. Okay. What makes you think it was King? Have you been to the mill? It's where it all started, Ted. The police did such a sloppy job. You think someone was paying them off? Pigs. It's where we're heading next. Where? To the mill, B. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Go there, Ted. Do a little investigation of your own. And why would King do this? He already has an entire city in his grasp. Seems odd he would bring in someone to help him, especially someone who's obviously unhinged and hard to control. For his own personal gain, I mean, the casino is still standing. Unburned. Could be just a coincidence. It could. Just that I don't believe in coincidences, girl. How are you holding up, B? We've heard you've been scaring the harbor workers around here lately. No, no, no. They're okay. Hardworking bunch. The salt of the sea and all that jazz. They get scared easily is all. Are you using your deep voice when you're talking to them? No! I got old. Hurts my throat nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> CBG, we're looking for Flint Yeah, he's gone missing And we fear the Red Man had something to do with it Or at least, we hope he's hiding here in the city Flint? You two came to the wrong place to look for him Paper City is the place where people usually end up to go missing Okay, so I gather you didn't see him Did you have the time to look around, Snoop? The city's in chaos I could have easily missed him even if he were here Which I doubt, honestly can't even remember when was the last time I saw the kid. Millie told me he was missing since last night. Millie? Yeah, she escaped the city through the East Tunnel's maintenance route together with the Mugshot Boys. Clever. Those two have potential. The shame they were always leaning on the wrong side of the fence. So they're staying with you now? For the time being. Rusty is there also. Good girl. Just keep them away from here for now. The city is a ticking time bomb. Okay, B. I'll bite. Let's say King really brought Red to the Paper City to get leverage on Mills. But what could King possibly offer to someone like this? There seems to be only one thing he's interested in. 
And you brought her right to King's doorstep. I know Red has been asking around about her, but what I want to know is why. Why? Who really has the power in Paper City? Is it the mayor, that pig, the shark and his goons? No, Ted. It's her. Amber. The girl, yes! She made the city, and it seems he came here to tear it down instead. He won't stop until he finds her, and it seems Shark is desperate to arrange this meeting. But it seems to me, Red has his own agenda. This is what happens when you're so dependent on the tool you're using that it ends up using you! If I find out King's behind all of this, he's going down. For good this time. You go home, and stay away from the docks. For the love of God, you live in a mansion. It's where they gather, Ted! The seagulls! Oh yeah, I forgot about the seagulls. Come on, B. It's time to hang it up. I can't retire just yet, Ted. There's too much sadness on these streets. Still, especially now that you're retired. You've heard about that. How could I not? The folks down at your old street held a two-day vigil. It's a damn shame, I tell you. Time waits for no bear, B. I got old. Nonsense! You're as sharp as a thumbtack, Ted. Always were. We have to go now, B. Do what you gotta do, Ted. Oh yeah! I almost forgot. I found this at the steel mill the other day. Take it. See if you can analyze it, Ted. What is it? It looks like some sort of a voodoo charm. This only proves what I've been telling you about King. Hmm. Seems a bit odd. King would leave something so obvious at the crime scene. I know. But at least take it with you. Maybe it can lead you in the right direction. All right, B. See you around. I hope you're a good golfer. CBG, can I ask you for a favor? What is it? Clark fell into the water near the diner. Can you check on him and make sure he gets out okay? Sure thing, girl. I'll get that idiot out. Okay, so we got Stark Industries, we got mentally okay. ill. So Let's we should go and Batman. see the steel mill first, right? <laughs> I was thinking maybe we could go and see Tigrin Jones about the voodoo charm he found. What? I'm not going to see that witch. That's nonsense. It's not nonsense. It's a lead. If anyone can tell us more about it, it's her. You never listen to my ideas. It's always about you and your stupid clues and... Fine. Okay. Let's just hurry up. Voodoo, I mean really. But after that, we're going to the steel mill. Okay. Oh. Looks like one of the seagulls dropped a feather. Guessing we can use that for something. Aw, it's so soft and cuddly. Totally useless, though. Uh, you never know. He's off his fucking wits. Okay. So... There's our little voodoo charm and a feather. So now, let's see, we've been there, we've been there. Okay, so we just have to jump there. Tigran's lair. Paper City. I always had kind of a love-hate relationship with this place, I have to admit, and hand it to Amber. She really made this city feel the way it's supposed to be. It's gritty, dark, dirty and unforgiving. But most of all, it feels alive. It's almost as if the city itself could be a main character in some forgotten script on the desk of a writer who shot himself before he could write an ending. Everyone here has got a story to tell, and if you lend them your ears for a couple of minutes, you can find out just about everything. And in these dire times, that's the main reason why I decided to return. Well, at least I keep telling myself that. I have to admit, it feels good to be back. It feels right. Paper City makes sense to me. People here, they make sense to me. It was good to see Betty again. I would never say this in front of her, but I miss her sometimes, and I messed up. I did. It's good to see she's fine and well. She's always had an admirable joy for life, and I'm glad that hasn't changed. CBG, on the other hand, is getting worse by the day. Most of the time, he just raves on about seagulls and other nonsense. It's a shame, but he always had a nose for sniffing out the bad, especially in this rotten place. 
Our best bet now is to retrace his steps and see if he overlooked anything. My gut tells me we should follow the steel mill lead, but the doll insists we seek out Tigrant Jones first. I have little faith in this voodoo nonsense, and I'll play along for now. In any case, the thing I know is we have a long night ahead of us. The doll and I, a long, long night. Okay. So. Oh. Ted, it's him. He's here. Oh, get him. Ted, Why are you standing Ted? there? I'm here, doll. What's going on? Did you did you not see him? Him. The red man, he was just here. Where? Right in front of us. Where did you go? I literally didn't leave your side the whole time. What the hell are you talking about? I... I... don't know, but he was here. I saw him, Ted. Okay, just breathe. There was no one here, doll. This alley is dark and creepy, and it could have been anything, really. No, this was different. It was like that couple of times back at the house, remember? I guess. There were writings on the wall again. What did it say? I couldn't read it. I was really scared out of my mind. Something like, go get him, or something like that. Hmm. What are you thinking? Nothing. It's just, when we were back at the house, I could see it too, but now I couldn't. That is a bit strange. Let's just keep going. This stupid voodoo lead won't follow itself. You're stupid. Are you sure this is it? Doesn't seem like anyone would live here, doll. Of course I'm sure. We just have to find an entrance, I guess. This is so stupid. Why? Because it's my lead and not yours? No, because we're walking around dirty back alleys instead of focusing on the important parts of the investigation. What about the voodoo charm CBG gave us? Tigrin could know something about it. It could lead us to Flint. It could lead us to our untimely deaths as well. Have you forgotten who it is you're looking for? I can talk to her. Would you relax? That's really ambitious. It's like saying you'll be fine when falling into a volcano when you know how to swim. Stop being so negative all the time and help me find an entrance. Fine. What about that note over there? Or, you know, whatever. Hmm. I think you're on to something, Snoop. Let's check it out. Okay. So, we got a ritual note. We got some ritual altar. Some lumber. Chalk, strange wall thingies, windows, and what I'm guessing is going to be the door here, and a voodoo skull. Okay, so that is the first thing we are going to try to figure out when we come back, because I am going to take a short break here. Um, as always, guys. Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this one, because I really am enjoying this game. It can be a bit frustrating to when we miss things, but we'll get there in the end. So, and hopefully you'll still be there in the end. So until next time guys, take care. Bye.